Hi guys, and welcome to my daily tips. Today's exercise is squats, okay? So for this example, I'm just gonna get her to use a uh, broomstick, but the principle is exactly the same when you have a barbell, okay, in a squat rack, okay? So making sure that actually when you go underneath the bar in, in the squat rack, make sure the bar is actually a little bit lower than your shoulders, okay, when you're actually going up and lifting the bar off the rack. Okay, so from this demonstration, we're just going to go by step by step in what I consider the best possible squat for your body. Okay, so making sure that the bar is on your fleshy bit of your traps. Okay, it's up to you where you hold the bar on your body. Okay, but anywhere on the soft bit of your traps. Okay, up here. Any higher and it impinges on the bone. So you just have to find um, a nice spot for it to position the bar. So from this position, in terms of your legs, okay, the wider you have the legs, okay, the more it's going to work your glutes, okay. The closer you have your feet, the more it will work your quads, all right. So first exercise, or the first bit of the exercise, I should say, is pushing the bum out, okay. That's the first bit. Obviously, while keeping the, the spine nice and neutral. You don't want to over-accentuate the spine. So what we're going to do is we're going to engage the core a little bit more, okay, and flatten out the spine. So if we can engage the core and flatten it out, okay? Not too far, because we still want that inverted bit of the spine. So squatting is all about counterbalancing. The idea is to get the glutes as low to the floor as possible without pushing the knees too far over the toes. If nothing at all over the toes, while keeping the back inverted, okay, the chest and the head up, all right? So from this position, all we're gonna do is counterbalance all the way down until we can't hold one on one of those positions. All right, so as we come back down, she can probably go a little bit lower with her bum, all right, otherwise she closes herself too much off. So from this position, when you've got to about 90 degrees is ideal, we're gonna push through the chest and really engage our glutes and push all the way back up again. Remember to work on your breathing, inhaling or inhaling and holding the core before we go into the squat, which will give you your stability. When you're down the bottom and you heat the You've, you've reached the bottom limit, on the way back up, make sure you're exhaling. But make sure you're not exhaling all the air out at once. You want to exhale in time with the movement. That's my daily tip for today. Tune in tomorrow for more of my daily tips.